Hi guys, Steph here. Now, what we've got for you today, well, I don't know if any of you recognise this one. To be honest with you, I wouldn't have recognised it if I saw it, but what we actually have for you here, it's actually what the, well, on the barrel it actually says British Strand Made. I believe it to be from around about sort of the 1930s, and it's one of them manufacturers once again that I'm sorry, but I do not know a great deal about. I believe it may have been made by the um, the Langs Pen Company from Liverpool. As in most of these pens that are sort of not very much known about, a lot of them were made from other manufacturers for for other manufacturers. This one may, have, I believe, there was some mention of W. H. Smiths and Stuns being a stationers that obviously didn't make their own pens, so the Langs people sort of made them for them. Um, so it's one of these, again, one of these manufacturers that I'm not too sure about. So, well, if you want to leave a comment, tell me maybe what you know, then we can all share in in well, if you know a little bit in your knowledge, but. Suffice to say, it's a British stand, sorry, strand made fountain pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, 130 millimeters capped, around about 12 millimeters in diameter to the barrel, and it comes in this black hard rubber. Um, it's got nickel plated trim. Now, if we show you the, it's got what we term as a teardrop clip to the very top of the pen there and you can see it's got a little bit of pitting which is understandable for a pen from sort of the 1930s to the very top there it's got this sort of flat top stud and again if we show you the clip there you can see the clip is this nickel plated clip as well if we show you the imprint which on this pen is nice and clear as you can see as we said it says British Strand Strand Made all in all, a lovely pen. It came to me quite discoloured and quite dull. Um, so what we've done, we've polished it up for the customer and it's looking absolutely gorgeous. So, let's unscrew the cap. Let's give you a few sort of twirls of the pen, show you different angles of it. All in all, again, although it's one of these manufacturers that is not, well, little known about, a lovely, lovely met. Well, a lovely pen, and a well, yeah, I'd still say it's a quality made pen. Um, let's show you the section to the top there. It's got this quite a, it's like a slightly tapered section to the to the top of the pen there, tapering to the nib. A quite a small nib, and the nib actually is a warranted first quality 14 karat gold nib. And as you can see, a slightly small nib. If we show you a sideways view there, and to the back we've got this this combed feed to the back like so. Okay. Now, because we don't know too much about it, I'm not going to say too much about the pen, but just to say that because I've restored it, let's try it out. So, lever, as we know, dip the nib in the ink, pull on the lever, That'll do for that. Like I say, as always, it's only for a writing sample. Let's bring on some paper and let's see. Uh, let's see how it writes. So, what we have is a British strand made fountain pen. Now, as I'm writing, once again, I am, well, I'm very surprised once again. See, although a lot of these pens are not very much, or they're not known about, or the manufacturers are not known, this particular one is writing very, very nicely. And as you can see, there's some... A little bit of flexibility in the nib. So whereas normally you'd get, you know, a big manufacturer and we'd all say, yeah, what a lovely writer. This is one of them pens that we don't know too much about, but a lovely, lovely writer. And as, as you can see, we've even got variation in the line. So, 
although it's a nice British made pen not a lot we know about it unfortunately only suffice to say as you've just seen lovely writer very nice pen so we're going to keep it quite short because as you people know I can chat for England I hope you've enjoyed looking at this pen as always as much as I love showing them to you leave a comment if you don't mind but for now I'll just say bye bye